Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of super strength. <gasps> Imagine being super strong. How amazing would that be? Think of all the things we could do if we were super strong. We could lift up the furniture to grab cookies that we dropped under there last week. <laughs> Did you drop any cookies? Was that me? Not that I'd eat cookies off the floor, obviously. <clears throat> Ever. <clears throat> anyway. We could open jars and we could move heavy rocks. Ooh, and we could hold up ceilings. Actually, that reminds me. Now Nana Girl and I have agreed that it's time she got a super secret lab of her very own. And I've got the job of designing it. That's what engineers do. Right, now I've got a roof and a floor, but no walls. If I was super strong, I could just hold up the ceiling all day. Huh. But that might be really boring after a while, and my arms might get a little bit tired, especially with that heavy nano telescope she's planning to put on the roof. I wonder if I can use my super strength powers to design a really strong structure to hold up the roof of Nano Nano Girl's secret lab. There are lots of different types of strength, and the one I'm interested in today is called compressive strength. So compression means being squashed like under a heavy load. And compressive strength is the ability to withstand a heavy load without breaking. The walls in our houses have to have high compressive strength to hold up the weight of our ceilings without being squashed down. So that's a really important thing for architects and engineers to think about when they design and build a new structure. Not only do they need to think about how much load or weight a material can take, but also the shape of the structure is really important. Have you seen buildings with columns holding up the roof? Columns are long and usually cylindrical, and they can hold up quite a lot of weight. I wonder if columns would be a good idea for Nano Nano Girls Lab. I think I need to test out some different structures to see which one might be able to hold up the heaviest load without collapsing. For this experiment, you will need some card, a ruler, pencil, tape, three sheets of paper, scissors, and something heavy, I have some rocks. So we're gonna start by taking our card and measuring out two identical rectangles. You can make them any size that you like. Mine are going to be 25 centimeters long by 13 centimeters wide. Okay, there we go, cut those out. Now these are going to be the floor and the roof for your lab. Next, we need to make some different structures to hold up the ceiling and figure out which is the strongest. To make this a fair test, we're going to use the same materials for each shape. So every shape is going to be made from a single sheet of paper. The first design that we're going to test is flat walls. So take one piece of paper and fold it in half lengthways. And then open it out and cut along that fold to make two strips that are the same width. Now you can see that these are a little bit longer than our card. So lay it along the long edge of the card and mark where it meets the corner. Now you're gonna fold at that point so you make a corner. Okay, so I've done that for both pieces of paper. We're gonna set these to one side. The next design we're going to make is a triangular column. So we're gonna start with a fresh sheet of paper. Now fold it so the two short sides meet like this and then do that one more time and then fold it in half the other way. When you open it out, you should have eight rectangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna cut this paper in half lengthways. So now you have two strips, each of them with four folds. Now make sure that your top fold and your bottom fold both fold inwards. And then you're gonna to want to make a triangle shape. So you're gonna bring them together and then you're gonna create one of them as a tab and fold it into the other one and then take them together. Okay, so now we have two triangular columns. We're gonna put those aside next to our other ones. And finally, take your sheet of paper. We're gonna make a circular column. So fold it in half again, lengthways, and cut down the middle line. Next, you just want to turn them into a tube. So get some tape ready. So you want to roll them into a tube. And if you can, try and make them about the same diameter as your triangle. And then tape it. There you go, and then just do that for the other one so you've got two tubes. Okay, so you can see that all of my shapes are the same height and all made out of the same material. 
just a little bit of tape for some of them. Now for the moment of truth. Which shape do you think is going to have the highest compressive strength? Okay, no, 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 go. This is gonna be your new house, so I'll need you to watch here. Let's put you down over there to witness this. Okay, we're gonna start with our roof and our floor. We're gonna put the floor down first. And the first test is gonna be with our paper walls. Okay, so we're gonna take our wall, stand it up. It's probably gonna need a little bit of tape to hold it in place. We're the same with the opposite one. And then we're gonna put our roof on top. Okay, now to test the compressive strength of these walls. We're gonna start by adding one rock in the middle of the roof and see whether it can take it. Uh, no. Definitely cannot take one rock. Okay, Nana Nana Girl, we're not gonna use that as your design. Let's move this to the side and try our triangles. So I have a triangle here and a triangle here. I'm gonna put those on the floor. I'm gonna put the roof on top. Let's try the same rock. Ready? Can hold it. Okay, so that's pretty strong. What do we think about another rock? Ready? Oh no! Can't take two rocks. So it was better than the first experiment, but definitely not a two rock type system. Okay, take our cylinders and we're gonna put them on our floor. We're gonna add the roof on top. And let's go with rock number one. Do, do, do. Take it. What about two rocks? Are you ready? It can take two rocks. Yay, that's more than our triangle one could. Rock number three, what do you think? Yes, no? Ha <laughs> ha, three, that's three rocks. Oh, well, three in a bit. Well, it shows us that the ancient Egyptians were onto something thousands of years ago. And theirs are so good that they are still holding up some structures today. I wonder if these columns will last a few thousand years too. <laughs> what was that, Nana Nana Gil? Probably not. Why? Because I built it. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, I hope you all had fun building and testing your lab structures. I will see you tomorrow for another super strength experiment. Bye.